Hi guys, so today I'll be showing you how you can test your micron gauge or even your uh, vacuum pump. So if you're buying a used vac vacuum pump or even if you want to test yours to make sure it's working uh, and you don't have an AC system, you know, there is a way you can do it. Now, um, if you try to connect your micron gauge directly to that, uh, you know, it may not give you the true reading. And the reason is because if you tie it directly, there's not enough space, you know, for it to measure the vacuum. It needs to see the vacuum, you know, it needs to have some kind of uh, uh, medium, you know, to measure that vacuum. And uh, by connecting the hose, you will have a better uh, or a little bit more space, you know, for it to uh, measure that vacuum. So um, this is my setup, you know. I'm using these uh, two uh, valves that I connected right here. So let me show you the setup. Um, right on this side, this, this side is sealed. Uh, I connected one over here. This side I'm gonna seal, even though this has a shader valve, doesn't matter. So I have my valve closed on this side and uh, I can go ahead and open it. So now it's open, comes in right here, comes into another valve, which is also open. So I can control this valve, you know, once I pull the vacuum, I can uh, close that so it's isolated from the pump and then this should hold uh, the suction or the vacuum. So right now I'm gonna leave it open since I want that, that pump to pull that vac vacuum on this entire line. Uh, over here I have my CPF, uh, CPS vacuum gauge connected and then this one comes in, the yellow one comes all the way over here. I have my two valves closed so make sure these are in closed position nice and tight and uh, so you have this much that uh, you know it's going to be vacuuming so it comes in right here the valve is closed so it's not connected to these red lines um, and even if I want I can open those valves you know uh, and uh, pull the vacuum on these these as well so they'll give me more medium as long as they're connected on the back side you know so on the back side let me show you I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I connect it connect these or if, even if these are loose you know maybe we can close these so if these are closed uh, some of you may not have these you know I, I do so I, I don't even need to tie these up um, I can just close these valves and open these to give it me a little bit more space for vacuuming so I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So since I have my hoses connected, I can go ahead and open this, these two all the way. So now if I pull the vacuum, it's pulling it all the way from the yellow hose, comes in right here, the vacuum goes in, pull the vacuum right from the red and the blue hose comes all the way back here, all the way to the valves which are closed. So now I'm pulling vacuum on all this. Then I'm going to look at the reading on the CPS uh, vacuum uh, gauge um, or vacuometer, you can call it. Uh, and if my reading is, is staying consistent, you know, uh, that kind of tells me that all my coupon is working good, you know, uh, it's holding vacuum pretty good, you know, uh, before you connect to a system. Uh, I like to do this test uh, once in a while just to make sure there's nothing wrong with my equipment because once you connect it to the system and you're having issues, then you may end up thinking that the system has a leak, you know. Uh, versus your equipment so um, there are a couple of different ways to you can do that as well you know if you're if you're testing your uh, yellow gauge only and uh, you can put a one of these on the front and just lock it up and this way you're only pulling vacuum right from here onwards uh, and you can do the exact same thing you know for testing the either the blue hose or the red hose you know uh, you can just start um, Instead of the yellow, just connect the, any color hose that you're trying to test. And this way you can independently test it or you can test it all together. So this setup is basically testing all the hoses all the way, all the way till here. And uh, you know, we will start our test. So first thing I'm gonna do is turn this on. Now, I don't wanna start my pump in a stress condition. So it's better to loosen this top one you know so it gives the motor or the pump to time to start Oops. make sure it's tight and now I'm gonna tighten this up now it's pulling the vacuum there you go
So it's been about 24 hours, you know, and uh, you can see my manual gauge is still holding the vacuum. And uh, let's see what it reads on our edge. Okay, so it's down to like 1480, you know, and um, all that night, you know, it's kind of within 24 hours, you know, this is very stable at. So, you know, that kind of gives me an indication that for the entire 24 hours, it was holding the vacuum pretty good. So that's the test that you do pretty much, you know, that tells me that uh, um, my setup, everything is nice and sealed. Uh, my hoses are good. And uh, that that's pretty much it, guys, you know. Um, that's the way you pretty much test your gauge and your set, you know, and even your pump. So, you know, hopefully this helps you guys doing a test, you know, if you want to test your system without being connected to the HVAC system, this is probably the best way to do it. Um, you know, if you do have an outside unit, um, you know, a spare unit sitting in your garage, you know, it, you can pull a vacuum on, that's great for testing, you know, but I don't in this case. So, you know, I just did my own small setup and this seems to work. So hopefully you know, it helps you guys um, testing your stuff, you know, and uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much.